Hey guys, welcome back to EOS Marketplace News. I'm Riz and I'm here to bring you up to date with the latest EOS currency news. Now, if this is your first time on our channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below to get the latest out of EOS Marketplace News. And guys, by the way, before we go any further, let me just remind you that we are not financial advisors. Rather, we are a gathering of good news and rumors about EOS and your favorite uh, crypto coins that we have gathered from over 500 online videos and research links every day. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button and um, make your own final research to make the best decision for yourself. All right. So guys, today in this video, I would like to talk to you about the news or the articles that we found most um, that we found most interesting uh, for them to be included in our daily newsletter issue. So, by the way, this newsletter will be sent to us to, uh, will be sent to our subscribers twelve hours earlier before we broadcast him. Uh, we before we broadcast them here on YouTube. So if you want to get the information 12 hours earlier than the rest of the world, go ahead and check us out at preferredcurrency.news. So um, just to give you a, an overview of how our uh, newsletter looks like, it looks exactly like this. Right. So as you can see, they are not just pure news. We also have a great, a great website where you can get alerts about your EOS transactions. Uh, um, a website to where you can um, put your or advertise the items that you have for sale. May it be items, may it be rentals, may it be um, services, anything under the sun that you would like to um sell in exchange for EOS or if you want anything the um, try to find something that you might find interesting and pay them with EOS you can have it here in these websites in the web page or in the newsletter also um, we will also uh, show you where you can get an EOS account for only 99 cents in your Google Play Store and in your App Store and most importantly the um, the contact information of our publisher, Mr. L uh, Mr. Donald the Guru. All right. So if you have any questions about this spreadsheet, if you have any information that you'd like to clarify, if you have any help, uh, or if you have anything that you would need help with, just go ahead and ping him on uh, through these numbers included here in our newsletter issue, and um, sh shoot him a message or call him. And the most important part here is the Donald's research list. By the way, what is it? All right, so Donald's research list is a spreadsheet where you can find the latest uh, update on your favorite coins. Now, as you can see, um, the first column sh uh, shows the name of your favorite coin with its legends, red if it had negative issues or negative news, 10 if neutral, yellow, fair, green have good news, blue are showing best news. So not only that, you also see the price of or the current price of each token for a US dollar in a US dollar, its share of total market cal uh, market value, its Google searches compared to the last seven days, 50, M uh, 50 candle SMA movement, um, 24 or daily volume versus price, weekly volume versus price, monthly vol uh, volume versus price, plus the percentage it has been issued. So you'll get all of these amazing information, which you can prove very helpful when it comes to your educational purposes, research purposes, since these information cannot be found on any other YouTube channels or any other websites. So all you got to do is to subscribe to preferredcurrency.news and be updated. All right, so like prom, uh, like uh, I mentioned a while ago, we will be talking about the um, articles that we deemed very interesting and included into our daily news letter issue for today. So for the first headline, CoinFloor becomes the first exchange licensed under groundbreaking Gibraltar legislation. Let's find out more.
The UK's oldest cryptocurrency exchange has become the first company to, licen to be licensed by Gil Bartar's progressive blockchain legislation. Now, the rules are first for Europe and highlight the over uh, British Overseas uh, Territory's commitment to explore technological innovations. According to a report in the Financial Times, CoinFloor has proved itself worthy enough to receive the first license from Gibraltar under its groundbreaking blockchain legislation. The exchange will be regulated as a distributed, uh, distributed ledger technology or DLT provider. Just as they did with online gambling earlier this century, Gibraltar have taken the lead when it comes to legislating the digital currency and blockchain startup space. Now, the British Overseas Territory has long been an attractive location for uh, virtual casinos since it demands incredibly low tax from firms based there with the blockchain specific rules introduced earlier this year they are hoping to have similar successes with companies focusing on the fintech innovation the legislation is a first of europe or the first for europe however the likes of malta have been working similarly uh, on similarly attractive regulations to try and lure startups in the island some believe that the motto will eventually prove a more suitable hub for blockchain firms to, be, uh, to base themselves since there is a considerable uncertainty about how Gibraltar will be impacted by the UK's decision to leave the EU next spring. Obin Wasu, the CEO of CoinFloor, commented on the new license to the final, uh, Financial Times. He told the publication that the exchange platform was tested on nine principles. The aim of these uh, are to ensure that firms licensed in Gibraltar have sufficient anti-money laundering or AML and know your customer protection in place. The exchange also had to prove its security is robust enough to withstand the kind of cyber attacks that have plagued the cryptocurrency exchange industry over the years. All right. Next, Hong Kong may soon regulate cryptocurrency exchanges. Now, the cryptocurrency exchange sector in Hong Kong may soon see an upheaval as the City Security and Future Commissions, or SFC, explores various as, uh, aspects of regulating the myriad of cryptocurrency trading bourses operating in the city, reported China, uh, South China Morning Post on October 15th. Outgoing Chairman Carlson Tong Kashing cites investor protection as the primary reason of the agency's move. However, he expressed concerns that the SFC is limited to regulating only classified financial securities, meaning the rising assets class would have to be recognized as a security by the Hong Kong government. Also, the regulatory approach towards the technology may need careful consideration from the authorities as the innovation may not be secured at all. Kashing believes a blanket ban is not the answer to mitigating money laundering and investor protection concerns as to today's world, uh, internet world would easily facilitate the transfers of data and accessibility to goal, uh, global platforms in case a particular jurisdiction plays restrictions. Now, speaking about crypto trading in particular, he notes that the transactions can be easily conducted in overseas if a ban was enacted. All right, guys, so that is the second um, news article that is included in our daily newsletter. So what are you waiting for? Go ahead and subscribe now to PreferredCurrency.News and get your information, your detailed information, 12 hours earlier before we broadcast them live here on YouTube. So, guys, um, that's all for me for today. If you have any other questions, if you'd like to l let us know with anything, please shoot us a message in the comment section below. And thank you so much for tuning in today. I'm Riz, and I'll see you soon next time. Bye.